Hey everybody, Eric here. I'm gonna do a quick video, keep it short and to the point. So please hit that subscribe, make sure you thumbs up to support us to keep these videos rolling. We're talking repairing a game, Delta Force. The new Black Hawk Down DLC is out completely free. And it's a lot of fun. Now I did have some crashing issues and I'm gonna explain how I fixed that, which will hopefully help you fix your issues. And just for a word of advice, this will work on other games doing similar steps. So what I found for Delta Force was very the thing that fixed it for me was to run it as an administrator but i'm going to show you a couple other steps to try first because they're quick and easy and they could very simply fix your problem right away so the first thing you want to do is go to steam we're going to validate the game files if you're playing this on a different platform most of the platforms like epic and stuff you can also do this some kind of validation of the files if not you may have to just completely uninstall it and reinstall it but most of them will let you validate so on steam you just find the game in your inventory you want to right click on it and go to properties you want to come down to installed files right here and then you're going to see verify the integrity of the game files you click that and it's going to take a little bit to scan and validate them but it will repair any and download anything that it needs so that could very well fix your problem right away next thing i want to mention is make sure your machine is up to date make sure you have all your windows updates your .NET update and if you have visual basics if you're getting any kind of a dll error in this make sure you download the latest visual basic studio and get that installed on your computer that will fix a lot of people's issues i think but the thing that actually fixed it for me, and this you can use on a lot of other games, is you want to go to the Delta Force files and actually run them as an administrator. So in Steam, it's really easy to locate these. You can just right click and go to manage, and then you'll see it says browse local files. You wanna click on that, and it's gonna pop up a window explorer, and there are your files for your Delta Force. You can see it's in your Steam library, or wherever you have that installed, but it's gonna take you right to where you wanna be. Now the thing you have to do is you have to find the exe that runs this game and so you're looking for a game start.exe or something to that effect this one is in the launcher folder and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see multiple launchers see all these startup runners ef launchers all of these and so it can get a little bit confusing don't get me wrong but the easiest way to find it is to go into if there's a launcher folder and just honestly mark them all as run as administrator just to be safe. So when you find that EXE, just right click on it. You wanna go down to properties. You wanna go down to compatibility. And then one of the options here is run this program as an administrator. Then you wanna hit apply or okay to close it out. So just do that on anything that has a .exe if you're not sure which one actually starts the game itself. Uh, you can also do it on the direct, if you go into the game folder here, Delta Force client.exe. You can right click on it and go to properties, compatibility again, hit run as an administrator, hit OK. There you go. And that actually fixed my issue for me. I was able to run the game and it stopped crashing. I don't know why that did it exactly other than it was trying to access some files as that it needed to that you need to be an administrator and it was causing a crash or something. Um, but if this happens to you, hopefully this will fix your gameplay. Again, I keep these videos short and sweet for you, so I would really appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button to support us. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourself a great day.